What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBooth.net, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys an unboxing and full review video of the new Pioneer DJ Interface 2. So what this is, is a two-channel DJ interface so that DJs can use any mixer and set up Pioneer DJ's record box DVS setup. This is a simple sound card, which gives you two channels of DVS control, meaning that you can use the supplied vinyl and put them on your turntables or time code CDs or time code file in order to use in your CDJs or your media players in order to run back the Rekordbox DJ software using this guy right here, the Interface 2. It's a very simple sound card, USB powered of course. You plug this USB powered device into your computer, you plug two of your decks into the RCA ports of the inputs and then in the outputs you plug those two RCAs back to your mixer just like any other DVS setup and then you're ready to roll. So we're just going to do a quick unboxing first then I'm going to use it and I'm going to come back and let you know how it all turned out. So first up let's just open up this box see what we get. Nice packaging, nice artwork from Pioneer DJ as usual and All right, first up, you get your all of your reading information, everything you need in here, your licenses for record box, DJ, and DVS. Next up, you get a power cable, so you can use the power leads for this as well. More parts of the power cable. You get four RCA cables here. And you also get your USB cable. To round out the package, the last thing that you get, of course, is the actual interface itself. Nice and sturdy, by the way. It's a really compact interface. Nice and sturdy feeling. It's definitely metal all around. It has a power DC in on the back. You also have your USB on the front. Then you have your grounding post and your two deck inputs on one side and of course your two deck outputs on the other. You have some LED indicators here to let you know if your USB is connected, a DC indicator lets you know that it's powered and you have a deck left and right and then an output left and right as well so that way you can see if anything is passing through, any signal is passing through the device and see if you have any errors or anything that's not hooked up right. It's very, very solid. It's completely metal. It feels like it's built to last. On a side note, you guys did not see me open up the small box that comes with this that gives you your time code vinyl. It does come with two vinyl. And what we're going to do is just hook this up to a mixer that is not record box DVS enabled. And we're going to see how the bad boy gets on and exactly how it works in use. So after using the record box interface 2, we learned that it is an excellent choice or basically your only choice for anyone who does not have a Pioneer DJ record box style mixer and you want your two channel mixer to work with record box DJ DVS all you have to do is put this bad boy in between it comes with your control vinyl all the RCAs you need your power cable your USB cable and it's built like a tank very very solid very sturdy and it does exactly what a sound card of this style should do it's very comparable to other sound cards on the market that are for two channels that are for other software and it works just as good there was no latency detected when using this with vinyl or with CDJ time code it just worked very very well and I don't have any issues with the device at all. My only minor gripe with the unit is that it does not have any additional inputs or outputs, so that way you can't like route something back to another device or to a record session, but you can record internally within Rekordbox, so that's not really that much of a big issue here overall. So again, good device, nice and powerful, compact, built sturdy, comes with everything you guys need to get Rekordbox DVS if you're using a different mixer than another Pioneer mixer that already has one of these bad boys inside of it. So for more on the full written review summary, you guys can head on over to www.djboot.net slash DJS or you can click on the link at the top of this video description. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Make sure you also subscribe for new videos that are coming out all the time. And as always, thanks for watching.